In this specific video, we're going to be talking about how to use mascots to brand your company. Sports teams use mascots and many other types of companies use mascots and you can too to help your fans associate your business to that specific mascot and get them excited about your company. Now, obviously, your logo can be the main representation of your business, uh, but if you want to add some more power, use mascots to teach your videos, introduce your product lines, and so forth. That can actually be very helpful to your branding. So I'm going to show you how to find a mascot for your company. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, before I show you where to go to get really amazing mascots for your company, I want to give you an example of mascots not to use. Now, if you go to BigStockPhoto.com, as you can see in my internet browser here, type in cartoon mascot, and you'll see what I mean. Now, you have to be very particular about what kind of mascot is going to brand your company. Obviously, you don't want to pick something that is cheesy. Now, this might be okay, but this here may be a little outdated in terms of the design and everything. And as you can see, like this is a little more updated, but depending on who your audience is, your audience may look at a puppy and think, you know, this is really cheesy, I'm going to leave. So you need to be aware that your mascot could express something like, you know, this looks like a tough shark. And this would probably be more appealing to men versus women. Now, you have to know your demographics in order to really tackle this. So I wanted to give you this example so that you could see what to avoid doing. Now, there's a particular site that I prefer and that I'd recommend that you go to called GraphicRiver.net. And this place has some amazing mascots. And not only that, it gives you the ability to change the mascots all around. So if I type here, mascot, as you can see here, you have access to many different mascots here. And depending on your business and, and depending on what you are trying to brand and trying to achieve, you want to pick the right mascot. Now, you want to have access to several mascots that are doing several things because when you're introducing your products or trying to teach certain things, you don't want to have a picture of a guy that, that's just standing there. You want to bring life to your company. Like as you can see here, we've got six different positions that this particular mascot is moving and things like that. And then as you can see here, this gives you an idea. Okay, I can have thumbs up. I can have this guy maybe pointing at... A video or this guy's holding up a sign so that gives me an avenue to use him if I want to put the product in here and so forth so the more the merrier in terms of mascots actually doing something and having different poses and like this mascot as you can see here you got the ability to create your own personal mascot. And that's what I like about graphicriver.net is because you have a lot of these mascots where if you have Adobe Photoshop, you can simply change these layers. These are little layers. Like you could simply have this guy having a laptop here. And if you use Adobe Photoshop, you can see that you can change the colors, you can add objects. So you could find a different object and have him holding your product as the object or the icon. So you get the idea here that if you choose a mascot, make sure that you have the ability to customize the colors and add this and that and have them in different poses. And graphicriver.net has a ton and ton of mascots as you can see here.
and that's it. So make sure that you use the stuff that I taught you in this specific video to find a good mascot that can really brand your company and really take you to the next level.